you're having any issues trying to get the current user on your Node.js application. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and this is Talking to the Architect. And a very common question that I get is, uh, how do I get the current user in my Node.js application or perhaps my React application? And this is actually uh, closed by default from the SDK as a security measure to avoid uh, stateful usages on the server side of the applications. So there is some code that you can write that will allow you to get the current user. So to illustrate that, I created this brand new app uh, and I created my user in here, Alex, with the password abc123. And also here I have my Node.js environment where I just initialized my app and we are going to write some code in here to test that out. So the first thing I'm, I'm gonna do is to create an async function in here. So async function run. And then we are going to call this function, so run. And let's make inside it a try catch block. Catch. Where we are going to try to make a login process for that one user I created. So in this case of the try, we're going to do an await because this is a asynchronous call, parse.user.login. Then we're going to pass in my username and my password. So Alex and abc123. If this succeeds, we are going to print out console log user logged in. If not, we're going to print out user not logged in. Then let's try to run this code and see how it works. Node index.js and the user is logged in. Now that I have my user logged in, let's try to retrieve some of the user's information. So after all that, we are going to create a const current user equals parse.user.current. This is how we re usually retrieve the current user. And then we are going to make an if else statement And we are going to check for the current user. So if current user console log user and then the username. So plus current user dot get username. If not, uh, if I don't have the current user, we are going to console log could not retrieve the current user. Let's run it and see how it, what, how it does. So my user is logged in, but I could not retrieve the current user because of that protection that uh, will keep you from uh, having the user on the server side. So in order to make it work, you have to put a line up in here before you try to retrieve the current user that enables you to store that user on server side. That goes like parse.user.enable you unsafe current user. All this does is it allows you to keep a track of the current user on server side. So we're going to save this and now if I run it, you see that I was able to read my username from the current user uh, object. So this is how you create a code that allows you to read the current user on your Node.js environment or perhaps on your React environment. If this information was helpful to you, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. Also, share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. And don't miss out on next Friday our free security webinar. There is a link in the description of this video that you can use to join. And I'm sure we will learn a lot together. So I hope you like this video and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.